this is uh, excel sheet for uh, calculating a beer queue or uh, when you're calculating uh, material takeoff or after uh, design has been done if you want to know what is the quantity in the structural drawing so the time it will helpful so we'll have i've created uh, so many pattern of the same uh, format so i'll be using uh, generally particular this sheet this area for entering the POQ from particular drawing so i'll enter the building name or drawing name here and uh, and here i have created the database this is for base plate this is for anchor bolt and this is for stiffener plates in the job so usually like will have a certain standard type of anchor bolt base plate or stiffener plate so that if you enter then uh, you don't need to enter every time here manually so if let's say if i'm using bp on here in any of the drawing this drawing so i'll just enter bp1 so all the details related to that will appear here so here it is just simple uh, we look up command and uh, you'll get all the details you don't have to type anything manually similarly for ab let's say if i have a anchor bolt in the drawing i'll just one second yeah ab1 ab1 yeah so then i will have uh, details of the anchor bolt so which is required so the weight and the number so those things you will have it and then uh, yeah so this is the main uh, sheet with all uh, uh, details yeah this is a sheet where we have all the member details here let's like b mark generally we give on structural on structural drawing uh, for the steel structure we will give a particular designation so it helps to avoid writing this complete uh, uh, section name okay and then um, this is a mark so generally we have will have uh, for particular beam we'll have h section or bh or cl so based on the project specification or from where they are getting those materials so these are all the specification thickness and other details so uh, for calculating the area total area i have written uh, simple uh, macro uh, that is function like function is nothing but similar to sum so you are passing the values to this function and it will calculate the values for you so you don't have to enter formula every time so and once you're done you can use it in as many sheet you have here so you have to create only one time so this area function so i will show you that yeah this area function so function with this is my function i am passing these values inside here so based on i section h section we'll have different uh, um, like variation in calculation of the area so like if if it becomes c then we'll have uh, different uh, flange width and uh, uh, flange configuration so based on the identification mark so it will calculate the area so you can give as many condition as you want and uh, similarly i have created an another for a section so based on the weight it will calculate your uh, uh, weight um, like based on uh, based on uh, weight it will give classification so let's say section if the value is weight is less than 30 so then the structure should be extra light and if it is between 30 to 60 it is light similarly you can make a classification as per our uh, requirement and again uh, this is another uh, for calculating the paint paint area so paint area is nothing but complete perimeter perimeter uh, and then the length so if i know the uh, total perimeter area perimeter then i will multiply by the length uh, 
I know the values of uh, let's say for I beam I know this all this dimension from uh, this Excel sheet all this dimension I have depth thickness so you can calculate perimeter for calculating the paint area and then you can just multiply by the length meter then you just uh, multiply by the length so then you will have your uh, total uh, surface area and which is required for your paint calculation so here for paint what i've done i've i've linked this uh, surface area with your total length so length and number of beeps so when you need to have a developer tab so it's uh, here in the main tab you can go to customize ribbon and you can turn on in most of the cases it will be turned off so you can turn on and then go to developer visual studio and then here you can insert new module so no need to work on this uh, uh, under the project you don't need to go on individual sh sheet and uh, write a program so it's like it's better if you write it in a module so that you can use it in and all the sheets okay so i will create a model module that is seven so yeah three four okay so here i need to have uh, let's say the formula is something like this it may be any okay so the output should i should get it is a multiplied b plus c okay so this is the what output i should be getting okay so what i will do i will go to developer click here here function so function so every function should have a name so we'll give it as add open the bracket and enter so the end function will be generated automatically so you don't have to type it so here i'll write that form from add equals a multiplied by p plus c okay this formula what i had and here i'll pass those value a comma b comma c okay these are the values so save this and go back so here here i'll tap that our function name is add so which is already started appearing here once you saved add so i'll pass the values you don't need to put in a form uh, in this format you just have to select comma three comma four okay then enter so you'll have the data okay so let's say if i'm if i have uh, uh values in another sheet so then again you don't need to do the step add to four so you will have your result so we'll get back to uh, the sheet so like i will enter uh, let's say i will end yeah member list so let's say if i have a beam of particular number b13 so I'll enter b13 here okay so we'll have uh, by per meter classification but length length i should have it from uh, here from the drawing and number of pieces we have that's also from here so then you will have all other required detail so once it is done for all different sheet so you can just uh, 
uh, click this button the entries has been done here then uh, you can just uh, press this button it will uh, compress all these uh, members to segregate from all different sheet which we have below and this is what output we are getting so g6 may be present in so many drawings so we are entering the details in sheet wise and wise so finally we will have consolidated weight so it is like beams will have separately base plate will have separately and uh, anchor bolt what are the types we have used so it will so it helps in um, while calculating it especially it helps in now it helps for uh, especially it will help for uh, uh, fabricators where uh, when they when they have to calculate uh, uh, weight from uh, when they have to estimate uh, from the drawings so it will come it will be very handy